living in Chicago, there is never a lack of culture or diversity, and that includes, yes, wearing hats. We found a group of women who will make sure that you notice them. You know, a lot of people like beautiful jewelry, a lot of people like beautiful hats. So you're a collector. Your head is bare. You need something, some kind of, you know, razzle-dazzle on your head. If you thought hats were only for celebrities or horse races, think again. The once lost art of wearing a hat to accessorize an outfit is coming back, and people are starting to notice. People always remember the person with the hat. They will always remember it. I wear mine to the supermarket, and people stop me all the time. They're like, where did you get that hat? Oh, love your hat, you know, just, they just want to say something. As someone who can wear a hat like this out on the street, I think is great, and it shows that you have a lot of confidence in yourself. Chicago is one of the world's top destinations for buying a hat. Some of the finest come from the women who belong to the Millinery Arts Alliance, the city's oldest trade organization of hat makers. They make unique hats that range anywhere from $200 to $1,200. It's something one of a kind, something they'll have for the rest of their lives, and something that brings them joy. You sculpt a hat much the way you would sculpt anything, um, whether you're working with clay or working with uh, different forms of stone. It's evident in, in a high quality couture hat. We do offer things that are much more interesting than the pieces that are in the department stores. That's because every hat they make is an original. A hat is never made the same way twice. You want to give somebody their own hat, a piece that's just for them, that nobody else has. And um, you know, that's what I live for. Making a hat is a very intense process and can take anywhere from two days to two weeks. Many milliners travel around the world, especially to Europe, to gather ribbons, beads, and other adornments. It's almost like becoming an engineer. You have to learn how to build something. You have to go to school for it, and then you need to train in the field. There are a lot of details involved. Thinking about how you make the hat, how you shape the hat, and then how you keep that shape. You have to do it for the love of the art form, for one, and you have to be smart about what you do. Some milliners, like Loretta Corsetti in the Gold Coast, have their own studios. When a client arrives, the milliner evaluates the face shape and hair and eye color to ensure the perfect fitting. The Alliance also organizes events throughout the city like this one at the Peninsula Hotel to showcase their work. Women from all walks of life attend in their favorite hats in search of a new one. I absolutely believe that the hat chooses me and not me choosing the hat. So I'm here to see just which one of these lucky great hats are going to end up on my head going home. The milliners say they really enjoy converting women who would otherwise never think of wearing a hat. I don't wear hats, they squash my hair, they blow off my head, and I decided looking at all these women today that it's a very feminine expression. It's fun. I'm going to wear it. I'm, this hat's coming home with me. Yes. I couldn't resist the countless colors, styles, and shapes of hats and wanted to see what the fuss was all about. You'd wear this to a cocktail party, a black tie event, uh, some place where you wanted to be photographed, because if you're at a society event, the girls in the hats always get their pictures in the papers. When yeah. you put a hat on, you always put it on the back of your head and then move it forward. It does not muff the hair up as much. So we're going to do this. And what is this? This is a beaver velour printed in animal print and it's got hand beaded uh, velvet flowers on it. It's showing off your eyes and it makes your chin look nice and narrow. It's doing all the right things. It's the right silhouette for you. There is no doubt that there is a flower on my hat. Wow. Come on, don't you look great? I, I feel great. See? I feel that's like there's like a transformation. That's the magic of hats. I'm it's not going to lie to you. This feels, this feels pretty good. <laughs> Now I understood why women wear hats. It's about a feeling that each hat brings out. The milliners hope that others try it out too and continue to spread the word that hats are not a thing of the past and are for anyone who doesn't mind getting a second glance. People are aware of the woman who walks into the room wearing a hat. People are jealous of the woman who walks into the room wearing a hat. But it seems like as a society we're, re we're unused to being noticed. It's easier to pass by as a face in the crowd than it is to be the unique person who's wearing something really one of a kind that everyone's looking at. 
And I think once people can get past that, they can really start to appreciate the joy of owning and wearing something that's one of a kind. I think it's something that should really come back. And as a younger generation, I think that's something that we can do is bring them back. I think getting people to wear hats is, is as simple as getting them to understand that you don't have to wear the most outlandish hat. You have to wear a hat that suits you, that's well made, and that's beautiful. But come and, and work with a milliner and meet a milliner, and I swear, I still believe a hat can change your life.